off of 10% of your earnings. You forgot? No, now I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know I was supposed to be that. You should be living off of 10% of your earnings. So, what this means is, if you want to live a $100,000 lifestyle, what should your income be? $10,000. One million. No, one million. If you want to have a $50,000 lifestyle, what should your income be? $500,000. You should only be consuming, consuming meaning resources or habits that will never be repeated or can never be resold or just within away, going away, is gone, it's consumed, right? 10% of your income. You do that, you have a, a, another 90% that we speak about as allocated in different places, that no matter what situation comes around, emergencies, economy, recessions, whatever, you're still living in a comfortable lifestyle. Back where I grew up. Huh? I worked hard to get where I'm at. You put me back where I grew up. Really? Yeah. Really? Why? Think about this. Why? Why is our minds so focused on the consuming over the producing. Oh. You want to spend more. You don't just go out and spend it because you're going to use all the resources you have. You should put yourself in a mindset you earn more. For example, putting yourself on a system, on a strategy. Many people say, I deserve a vacation. What's the number one reason people say they deserve a vacation? They burn out from I think they Why? Why do they think they deserve it? Because they, they work. They haven't had one in a long time? Yeah. So what? So what? What did you do to deserve that vacation? Mm -hmm. Work hard. Really? So if you really deserve it, you will be able to afford it. You if you really deserve it, if you really deserve it, you will have productivity to show that you deserve it. Mm -hmm. For example, if you put yourself on a system, say like me, okay, I am not going on an international trip until I bank $25,000. Every time I bank $25,000, I deserve an international vacation. Every time I make a big sale in my business, I deserve to go to the spa. Now you start to put yourself in a production mindset where you're not rewarding yourself until you can show that you deserve it in your performance. Not because you're just inadvertently hanging around. Okay, just think about this for a second. So we're saying, I deserve a vacation because it's been a long time. Now you hear people say, uh, time heals all wounds, right? Is that true? No. It's what you do in that time that heals all wounds. So just sitting there and say, well, I have seniority because I've been hanging around for a long time does not mean that you're entitled to a reward. Think about the people you go on jobs, they've been there a long time, but you're doing more work. Who deserves the promotion? Who deserves the raise? Those who are productive, right? Now, in our personal lives, we tend not to carry that. We tend to be lazy and lethargic in how we reward ourselves. So, what I'm saying is, if you put your mindset that every time you see money, I only see 10%, that I can really use. You won't ever be in a position where you're struggling. Because now your mind has become a performance driven mind where you're saying, before I get vacations, before I reward the kids, before I buy gadgets, before I upgrade my car, before I buy clothing, before I do any of this stuff, I need to perform first. To the tune of 90 per one, or nine for one. So let's just say the 